All right, awesome. We've got two pages tonight. This is a great, great turnout. I'm super excited for this call. I know that all of you are as well. And I wanted to just start off by saying thank you for being here. Thank you for taking time out of your night to come here and be with your team and learn how to better yourself and become a better coach and grow your team. And this is something that it's just really awesome to see so many of your beautiful faces here and some babies and little kids. Like you guys have your families with you. This is awesome. So I wanted to um, just kind of let you guys know you're probably here for a couple of reasons. Number one, you're either here because you are a new coach or you're a coach who maybe hasn't started working your business yet and you want to learn how to take your business to the next step and you want to be an Emerald coach and you want to learn how to make it happen. Or maybe you are here because you are an Emerald coach and you're here to share your knowledge with those of us who have maybe not hit Emerald yet. Or you are a Diamond or Above coach and you're here to also share your knowledge as to how you continue to grow your business. Or one more, there's one more category. Perhaps you are here and maybe you haven't started working your business yet. You're not even sure if you want to work your business, but your coach invited you to be here because they saw something in you and they know that whether you're here for a discount or whether you're here to help a couple people or make an extra 20 bucks a week, this goal of getting to Emerald is going to help you no matter what your goal is, no matter how big or small your goal is, getting to Emerald is the first step in experiencing all of the benefits of being a coach. So with that, what we wanted to do first is by a show of hands, how many of you are Emerald or above? Raise your hand. All right, we've got, okay, so we've got quite a few. And how many of you are here because you want to learn how to hit Emerald and by the end of this call, you're gonna have all the knowledge you need to do it? How many of you are in that category? You guys are going to be popping a lot of emeralds this week. Yeah. All right. And how many of you are here and you're not sure if you actually, you're not sure like if you actually want to build a business, but you know that you want to help a couple people? How many of those? Okay, cool. So we've got a lot of people here that want to, want to work this thing. All right. So I just wanted to kind of gauge our audience before we started. Um, but we wanted to start with those coaches who are here, who are emeralds. Uh, we want to hear from you because you guys have done this and we want to hear, you know, how you did it, what made you decide to go for emeralds. So, um, what's the best way to do this? I, there's a lot of faces. <laughs> um, maybe we want to start with like, uh, we'll go through like the, the diamond coaches and then they can do their emerald coaches like that way would that be a smart way to organize this so like natalie do you want to start and like call out your emerald girls and then we'll go to emmy and lauren and christy like that or sure we can, sure that sounds good just so it's um, not like chaos <laughs> yeah so the only emerald on the call right now on my team is taylor um so taylor if you kind of want to talk about like quickly, like in a minute, since there's so many of us, just like why you wanted to hit Emerald, how you did it, and like what benefits you're starting to see and how you want to take your business from here now that you're Emerald. Sure. Um, so when I started out as a coach, I hit Emerald um, kind of in my second month, I think it was, and I was super excited, hit Emerald, knew it was the first rank that I needed to hit, um, and then I lost one of my coaches. Um, and after that, it, I kind of dwindled and wasn't really inviting people to the coaching opportunity. I was still inviting people, um, to challenge groups and all of that, but not so much the coaching opportunity. Um, and it wasn't until this past month, actually all of July, um, that I was following up with all of my challengers and anyone that I was in inviting to the challenge groups, I was also introducing the coaching opportunity. Um, whether it was just the discount or coaches or challengers that wanted to work the business as well um, and hit Emerald again. I don't remember if it was last week or the week before. Um, I think it was last week. And um, since the first time and the second time hitting Emerald, um, the benefits of it, obviously the team cycle bonus is great. Um, I've been able to put extra 
money towards my student loans, which has been fantastic because those are drowning in student loan debt pretty much. Um, and from here after Emerald, I told Natalie, I think like two weeks ago, and it makes me want to throw up thinking about it, but I want to hit diamond by the end of August. Um, so that's kind of my big time goal <laughs> after hitting Emerald. That's awesome. You can totally do it. I know you can. <laughs> so how, how did you hit Emerald though? How did you do that? What did you, what did you do? Uh, basically just like the, in the produce, presenting the coaching opportunity to the challenge, the current challenges that I already had, mm -hmm. um, and adding people to, we had a, um, team empower coaching blitz kind of thing where we all talked about different aspects of coaching. And so any of the challenges that I signed up that even like had the littlest bit of interest in maybe possibly coaching, I added to that group. Um, mm -hmm. just so they could watch those videos and get an idea. Um, and one of my coaches came out of that. Um, and then the other was, um, a girl that I actually went to high school with who saw me posting about it and talking about it, um, mm -hmm. on social media. And so she kind of got the idea from there. So kind of just sharing the experiences that I've had with it so far, mm -hmm. um, in the community is how I've gotten people to sign up as coaches. Awesome. Thanks for sharing that. One of her coaches is on the call too, Sam. <laughs> hey, Sam. <laughs> All right. Did you have any other any other girls that you said that? Um, well, I have Norm, but it's me. And then um, the other one's not on the call. Okay. Awesome. So hold on. I can't see everybody. Who wants to go next? I can. Okay. All right. I think trying to look over the two pages. I for sure have Kelsey, Sarah Jennings, and Sarah Ott, and Alexa. Did I okay. miss anybody I'm not seeing? Trying to scan the pages. I think that's everybody. Okay. Do y'all want to just go briefly in that order? Um, Kelsey, I'm just going in the order I see y'all. Actually, Kelsey's not there, so. <laughs> I don't know if she's still there. Sarah, you want Sarah Jennings, you want to start and just go for a couple minutes on? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So first off, I just want to start by saying this is crazy that I'm even talking on here. Like, not nervous at all because I used to be scared to even get on team calls just to sit there and watch people talk. So this is a huge accomplishment. Um, <laughs> so hitting Emerald was something that I didn't even have to try to do because it was so easy. Um, I was living with my best friend at the time and I signed up and she saw me doing the workouts. She saw me drinking this awesome shake and she started missing out, uh, obviously. So, and she was kind of into fitness at the same time. So she signed up, she was my first coach. And then my second coach was this girl. She is still my coach. Um, when I signed up Hannah, the girl, like my best friend that I was living with, she never wanted to coach, and that was fine. But um, my second coach that I signed up, she's still with me. And I knew that she was always into fitness, so I reached out to her. And it wasn't from a post that these girls saw or anything like that. It was just me. I, like, would think every day, okay, who can I sign up that is going to be so easy for them to just sign up? Um, so that's kind of how I did that. And then my third person was my mom. And so I was really set from there. And I think that people have this, I think that Emerald scares people and it shouldn't at all. You guys can become Emerald overnight. So um, Jessica, one of my coaches, she's on team call and I know she's really trying to hit Emerald like right now, like she's going to hit Emerald tonight. But yeah, I just want to say how easy it is and don't let it scare you because you can be there tomorrow. So yeah. <laughs> That's mine. <laughs> Thank you. Very yeah. true. Okay. Who am I looking at next? I can't um, keep track. The little tiles. Yeah. Is that easier? Oh. Alexa, do you want to go? Yeah. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I'm just like chopping celery over here, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. 
Wait, oh, you're muted. Go ahead. Let me unmute you. Okay, okay, now? Yeah, you're good. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> um, I think I might have clicked something. Whoops. Okay. Um, so I got like preemptive Emerald, like, I don't know, a call out for it. I think I told Emmy like, yeah, I signed up two coaches. And she was like, oh my God, awesome. Alexis Emerald, everyone. And then I wasn't <laughs> for like a few weeks. Um, and it really like, I think it's like what Sarah said. It, it's like, it is a big deal because it is like the first step in your um, journey as a coach and feeling like, oh, I can actually do this. And like, I am a coach and I'm getting that confidence boost. So it like seems like a huge deal, but it really isn't. I mean, it is a huge deal, but like, it's not as big of a step as you think it is. Like, it's not this big, huge obstacle in front of you, especially if like for me, I kind of played the card of signing up my boyfriend to have like a strategic business center that I have control over, which is an option that you can have if you haven't heard about that before. Signing up, like Sarah said, her mom, someone you know really well that isn't going to leave your life anytime soon, a spouse, a boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Um, so that's when it, one way to like very easily hit it. And then I would say the other thing that I didn't really do, and it's probably why it took me about two months to hit emerald is like i'm the type to sit back and think about what i'm supposed to be doing and like consider like oh how should i talk about this who should i talk to but like you really just need to take action right away and do like test and learn and figure out like what's working what's not what's speaking with people and what's not because you're never going to know unless you actually start doing it so that, that's my biggest advice is to like start doing anything and everything there you're never gonna run out of people there are so many humans in the world you can talk to like you might as well just see how things go and it'll come to you a lot faster that way mm -hmm. awesome thank you yeah i did shout you out because i was like oh, you're enrolled and hadn't even checked but you got it in a second so no, i know whoops we're good now <laughs> <laughs> okay i'm just gonna say kelsey you want to go can't find it. Yeah. I so mine was pretty similar to Alexis. Um, I think I went Emerald the first month that I was a coach because um, I signed my boyfriend at the time and I signed um, a friend from high school that I had reached out to like from my 100s names list. Um, so that really helped me at first just reaching out to people that I already knew. Um, and just like people I was already friends with. Um, I might disconnect me because my internet's really bad. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's basically how I went Emerald. I just started inviting right away and just started reaching out to people. Um, and yeah, like Alexa said, you can't really be scared of it because you will gain your confidence over time. And the stuff. Awesome, okay. And then Sarah Ott. Hey, I'm back. <laughs> so um, I went Emerald. So I signed up my mom, who then canceled her membership and quit. So that was awesome. So um, I signed up my hubby because I thought, hey, I could get his stuff in the little sampler packs. And then I could give it out as freebies if he's not going to do the shakes, which I never thought he was going to. And then he actually decided he wanted to do the shakes, so he drinks his shakes. So we get like every other month of his as a sampler for like freebies, and then he drinks shakes like a couple times a week, so we have extras. Um, and then the other person was a reach out. It's actually like a military friend of my brother's who I saw posting on his account about his weight. And I was like, hey, you can't pick on him. And I said something really stupid and then she called me out for it. And I was like, well, if you're going to be doing that, like you might as well be coaching. So I hooked her on and then she's actually military. So she gets to do a monthly thing. So that worked out pretty well. Um, and then that's how I got my first, I guess, three minus one. So two. And then um, I think I did that the first month, maybe. And that's kind of where I currently am with my two. And my mom's still lingering in the background. <laughs> And that's where I am. My mom was one of my first as well. And she goes inactive all the time and is not super reliable, even though she's my mom. But still yep, good to have the foundation. She turned her shake the first month. She was like, I'm just never going to drink it. I was like, great. Thanks for your support. Both my parents did that, but 
they both still drink it most of the time. So it's still smart to do that. My mom also returned hers. <laughs> <laughs> My mom <laughs> drinks her shakes. <laughs> My mom's drank her shakes consistently for three years. Go mom. <laughs> so, so <laughs> go mom. Did I miss any of my girls? All the little tiles keep jumping around for me every time I like switch. I don't think I missed anybody. I don't see anyone else, but I, I don't want to say that. Say something. I know. It's like all jumpy for me, but I think that's everybody. If not, somebody yell out. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Thank you guys for sharing. I think I have one, two, I'm trying to count two. They're jumping around. I see one, two, three on this page. Three. Two, I think I have three on the call besides like you guys, obviously. Um, so I'm going to call you guys out unless you had any more. You're done. All right. All right. So I want to know. I'm gonna call out Tara and say, why Why did you decide to go for Emerald? And how did you do it? Like, why did you do, why did, why did you do it in the first place? Like, what motivated you to get there? And then how did you get there? Okay, um, so after finding out all the wonderful things that you can receive by becoming an Emerald coach, one of them was that you would be able to get uh, free leads from Beachbody itself, which was huge because I'm like, wow, I didn't have to do any work and I'm going to be able to get these free people coming my way. And once they send them to you and they're, they're inside and on your little list in there, you then invite them to your challenge groups. Um, I didn't have huge success at first, but I am starting to see these people in my challenge groups. Like I have this one person in there now Alex, I, I don't know if it's a guy or a girl yet because um, <laughs> they haven't actually posted a picture, so I haven't been able to comment on that. But um, so I do get these people in the challenge groups, and once they're in there, then you can, you know, approach them with the next thing that's coming up or the coaching opportunity. So there's, you know, that's when you're going to be able to make your money from, you know, off the commissions from those people, those free leads. So that was one of the reasons why, um, why I did that. Um, Let's see. Uh, obviously, because you get the bonus cycles, which is fourteen dollars, so that was a huge thing for me That's because right. that right, yeah, that now um, you know goes towards all those little extra things that I want to do with my kids. If I want to take them somewhere, we want to go do this or that. We have this little extra fund on the side that we pull that money from. Uh, what else? Uh, once you hit Emerald, like, I don't know about everybody, but like recognition is huge to me. <laughs> and I don't know how all the coaches are, but Carolyn is amazing when it comes to recognizing someone for doing their part. And um, as soon as Carolyn uh, posted that I finally hit Emerald, my page started blowing up. People are like, you know, it, it sparks their curiosity. They want to know, what is she doing? What is this Emerald thing? So then people started reaching out to me that way. Too. So it wasn't just because, oh, it makes me feel great. Like it really drew like a lot of attention to me and people wanting to find out what I'm doing and they started to follow and, and all that jazz. Um, so recognition on that part was good. Um, the, you know, credibility uh, of being a coach, uh, just being able to get up to that next level was huge. My confidence level, I've always been pretty confident about things that I've done, but um, you know, like some of you said on here, it's it was difficult for you to get on these calls. Even though I've had every job under the sun in the public, in out and being social, that was difficult for me. But I was able to do that over time because I, I was being recognized for amazing things that I was doing with the team. Uh, what else do I want to talk about? Um, the income part of it, uh, I was getting my shakes free. You know, I had, I got my shakes free by signing up the first, you know, two people and that saved me money. Um, the, the daily, what are the daily vitals was helping me build and helping me figure out how I was going to be able to hit success club for the next couple of months because I just did what I had to do, um, in order to get to Emerald. Like I was just building that way. I just was able to follow those same, same steps that I had taken. Uh, what else? I told Carolyn, I said, when I start this, I am going to hit the ground running. And I did because <laughs> I immediately, I hit uh, Emerald. 
And I made sure that I hit success club right after that. But so I had to stick. I told you to do it and you did it. <laughs> What's that? I just told you to do it and you're like, okay. And then you yeah. went and did it. <laughs> yep. Yep. But like when I say, when I say I'm going to do something, I will put my mind to it and I will do it. So like my next goal now is now that I've hit Emerald, obviously I'm going to hit diamond. That's my goal next. I can do this. I'm just going to use the same behaviors that I've used up to this point and I will hit diamond next. That's my next goal. And it's going to feel just as amazing as it did when I became an Emerald because I know I'm helping this team. I'm helping myself and we're, we're doing this, um, we're doing this together. Um, and I, I, had, see, I see your emerald uh, recognition thing on your board behind your head. <laughs> oh, I have it all, girl. I mean, every letter you wrote to me, I have up there. I, I literally. Like the one from corporate, the little like green. Oh, the green yeah. one. Yeah. And then I got the business starter. That's how I got my free ticket to Summit because, again, I used, you know, what I had learned to just keep flying through every month, just getting people and getting people because it felt so good to be emerald. It felt so good to to be moving forward. Mm. Um, I actually have this sticky notepad that I wrote your name down the first time that I even started to get into this. Like I wrote your name on a sticky notepad and I said, I'm going to show this to her someday. <laughs> it's crazy. I know. What, my name? <laughs> yeah. You're like stalker. <laughs> um, so how I got there, I'll make this really quick. Cause I, I didn't mean to take that much time. Um, I signed my husband up on one side and I did it. I mean, you know, signed him up. I did the three day refresh because that's what I wanted. And, um, I also did the sampler packs so that I could use them for people that weren't sure if they were going to like certain uh, flavors. So I used that with my husband and then my dad, I put on the other side because he needed Shakeology. He had to be on Shakeology and he was pre diabetic and his doctor told him he had to do something. So I signed my dad up. I ordered the uh, country heat and my mom did the workouts and my dad drank the shakes. So it worked out. I mean, I was paying for my mom to go to the gym $30 a month, but now I'm only paying $15. You know, I paid for it for them. Um, $15 instead of the $30. So I, I was actually saving myself money by signing them up. There's always a way you'll find a way to hit that Emerald and not for nothing. After that, my third coach that I signed up that month is my Emerald. Now she just hit Emerald. Oh, um, I don't know. That's that it. I know great. there's probably people on here that are like, I'm not even here to, to do this as a business, but you're already a coach, you know, like you're, you're already a discount coach. And so what, if you're out somewhere and somebody says, what are you doing? Or how are you staying in shape? You just say, Hey, well, this is what I'm doing. Why do you want to join me? And I wouldn't say you want to sign up with me. I would say you want to do this with me. And if they want to do it, you sign them up. And it, it's as easy as that. Then you start getting free stuff. Then you start getting those bonus cycles, you start getting those free leads. Mm -hmm. It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Tara. You've got so much energy. You need to like lead a team call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, <laughs> that me next. Right? <laughs> Thank you. Um, oh, crap. All the people are mixed up. You're right, Emmy. Um, who else is on here? Who's lying? Oh, Courtney. It's getting dark, but I still see you. You can't hide. I think she's frozen though. I'm here. <laughs> now I'm here. All right. Awesome. So why did you hit Emerald and how did you do it? Okay. Um, so I am sure from also like seeing everybody else um, hitting Emerald and like helping people um I was very much like well I want to do that like I want to pay it forward and help those people um and then how did I do it I'll be honest with you it was a slow start I didn't really I like wasn't really comfortable with like sharing the opportunity with people or sharing like talking to people um I honestly wish I had Tara's excitement because like it would have made my life tenfold uh. Um. Courtney, <laughs> should we come back to you? Do you maybe want to go in your house and like be closer to your Wi-Fi box or something? <laughs> 
Um, now she muted herself. Okay, um, we'll come back to you. <laughs> so, Jen, do you want to pick it up from there? Why did you go Emerald and how did you do it? And then Courtney, if you want to move closer to your Wi-Fi and we can come back to you. Okay. Um, I mean, I feel I went Emerald, you know, because I was um, getting lots of pushes from you. <laughs> Encouragement. <laughs> And, you know, I mean, my mom was already supporting me in this journey. Um, and so she, I just kind of, you know, told her I needed her to be one of my coaches. And she basically started doing the journey with me. So, I mean, she wound up losing 20 pounds drinking her Shakeology too. Um, I think I post, I know I've posted her before and afters as well. So, I mean, it was basically my mom and she's still drinking it. Um, I signed up my sister as well, who I was, you know, I'm hoping she's, she's been drinking it. I'm still trying to get her because I think that I could really get her to be a, uh, a working coach one day. So I'm working on that. But, um, right now it's, it's the two of them. And, um, I, I, I jotted down little notes for tonight's call. And I mean, I think Tara have really hit on everything. And number one, really too, was, was the recognition part though. That was, that was really huge. I mean, not only, you know, first and foremost from you as my, my upline coach, you know, the, um, I posted my picture, my, I was, you know, it's, it's, it's a pride thing, you know, I mean, I posted my picture with my, you know, sweat your heart out emerald tank and it's the cutest thing, you know, and, and the same thing, people are reaching out to you and you know, what is that? What's going on? Um, and then of course the recognition directly from beach body, um, the cycle bonus, the free leads. I've definitely, you know, gotten some, um, some good leads and extra cash. So that's pretty much it. And now I need to, you know, I was just thinking to myself as I was jotting down the notes, that, like, you know, I'm like, oh, like I, you know, I'm like, I pretty much just told my mom, like, you're doing this with me, you know? And I'm like, I need to use that same mindset going forward for me to help me reach diamond. So, mm-hmm. Yeah. And you think that it created momentum for your business, like hitting Emerald, it gave you the confidence to keep talking to people and keep reaching out to people and keep moving forward. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, for sure. It's a big confidence boost, especially those of you who feel like it's something that's really hard or it's something that, you know, you don't think you could do. Just go for it and do it. It's really going to build your confidence a lot and it's going to create credibility like Tara had said for your business and for other people who are watching from afar. Thanks. Thanks, Jen. I think Courtney is back. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sorry, guys. Let's try that again. <laughs> I was sitting outside. It's so nice out. And then I was like, dang it. They definitely can't hear a word I'm saying right now. No. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So what I started to say <laughs> was that um, I went or I wanted to hit Emerald because I have FOMO, <laughs> I'm sure it has to be most of us, but I have serious FOMO, and so I was, like, seeing other people hit emeralds, um, like, helping other people and rank advancing in their business, and I was like, I really want to be able to do that, um, but before I could get there, I had to kick my own self-doubt and my own limiting beliefs, um, because I really wasn't confident in myself, in my ability to um, like openly share the opportunity and convey to people what I was doing and that it wasn't a scam. Like it wasn't something that um, I was trying to like trick them into. It was actually something that was working for me. Um, and I truly just wanted them to like come along for the journey. So once I got over that little hump, um, I really needed Tara's like enthusiasm in my life at that point. But um I just started sharing the opportunity. I was posting about it. I was talking to my close friends about it. Um, and then I was like, you know what? Like, why aren't I telling my family about this? Like, why not reach out to my cousins and my aunts and like all these people that um, would like it and could benefit from the opportunity? So I went Emerald. I did. I signed up my aunt. Um, and then I signed up, I think it was a friend of mine, um, who I just happened to like be in conversation with, um, and was like, listen, like I'm doing this really great thing. It's really cool. Um, and then she saw like that I was benefiting from it and she was like, you know what? Like, let me give it a try. Um, and so here I am as an emerald. 
<laughs> Woo, I'm glad we got to hear that whole thing this time. <laughs> yes, me too. Sorry, and guys. I'm proud of you for, for being honest about, like, you had to kick yourself out. You had to get rid of that that stuff that's holding you back from from achieving that goal. And, like, those of you who have fear and you have self-doubt around this goal – in order to achieve this goal, you got to You got to kick it and you got to get rid of it. And you have to remember like you're here and you're a part of this team and this team has blessed your life, whether you realize it yet or not. And by having, letting the fear and the self doubt hold you back from sharing it with other people, you're, you're not allowing them to experience this awesome team and these awesome people and this awesome community that we have. And I could say awesome a million more times, but it's, it's so true. It's definitely the truth. So if there is something that is holding you back from hitting Emerald, perhaps it is self-doubt. Perhaps it is fear. Do a little introspection and figure out what it is. And then if it is anything like that, just make a commitment to yourself to do the right personal development and kick those fears and step outside of your comfort zone and do the stuff that's going to get you to your goal, which is probably the stuff that's going to scare you. So when you get to your goal, it makes it all worth it. Right, Court? Yeah. I also just want to add really quick. Um, so I went to Philly Fusion, which was my first Super Saturday, just kidding, Super Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, and Dave and Chris were talking about like, what is it that really draws people to this opportunity? And it's the community. Like it's not the business. It's not the income. It's not any of those things. Like most people are drawn to this opportunity um, because of the community aspect. And so mm -hmm. that's something that I've really been using um, to sort of like draw my tribe in and say like, listen, I didn't get involved in this like for the business. I didn't get involved in it for any of that. I got involved in it because of the community, like because there are people out there like me who I didn't think existed and yet here they are, like 35 of us on a call right now who clearly I needed in my life for some reason. Um, and so I think you just have to find like what works for you and what works for your tribe of people and then keep building off of that. Yeah, totally. This community is like, you can't put a price on this. All right, who else is on here? I think I just had you three, unless I'm missing someone, just yell at me if I am. I think that was it of mine. Um, Brittany's at work. Uh, I think that's it. So Christy, do you wanna call out your girls? <laughs> I think Chelsea's is the only one on here. That's mine. It's really hard to go through two pages of people. Yeah, I mean, it's not a bad problem to have. Not a bad problem, but I can't, <laughs> I don't think I can see it. Yeah, Chelsea, sorry, girl, you're the only one. <laughs> Hot no, seat. Sorry, I'm not afraid to talk. I'll make your screen really big. So my adventure to Emerald... <laughs> Uh, I don't even honestly remember it. I know it's it was hard for me, and I obviously I, – well, I always need a lot of, like, pep talk for things. But for me personally, I'm the type of person that if I don't have the drive to do it, I'm not going to do it. So no matter who tells me I should do things, I'm not going to do it if I don't want to do it. So I wanted to hit Emerald. However, I have a hard time finding my my personal team tribe. And it could be for a number of different reasons. But um, when I first started out, I hit I hit Emerald in December, I think. Um, was it, Christy, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it was about a month after I started, which most people will hit it in like two weeks or, or a day or whatever. But it took me like a month because I was just getting my feelers out. Um, but one of my coaches who helped me get to Emerald actually has lost 90 pounds since being with me. Um, and so she's on my one leg. And then the other girl who started me Emerald was another girl who started with me the first month after I started doing this. However, she had, she had dropped off. Um, but in the process of me being Emerald, um, with her on my left leg, or I think she was on my right leg. Um, a couple months later, it took, it took a while, but a couple months later I got my husband, um, as a coach. <coughs> because he wanted the Shakeology and that took convincing, convincing, convincing to do um, because he thought that Shakeology was a scam and that was a waste of money and all this bullshit. And I was like, okay, whatever, whatever you say. 
Um, but then he got sick one weekend and I kept feeding him my shake and he was like, wow, I feel completely different than I did before. And now he won't go a day without it. Um, so I still have Kathy who lost 90 pounds with me on my left leg. And then I have my husband on my right leg. Um, and he's since lost 30 some pounds and has gained a whole bunch of muscle too. So, um, I think, and that's how I got to Emerald. Is Was there anything else I was supposed to say? <laughs> Why did I want to get to Emerald? Was that one? Um, yeah, like how did it change your business versus being an, a, like just a coach rank and then Emerald rank? Like how did that affect your your business? I don't, I don't think it really, like, I don't think I had enough time to really see how the business was without being an Emerald, if that makes sense. Because Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I mean, it was a month, so it didn't really, I wasn't, I was so nervous when I became a coach and I was so hesitant. And I was like, no, no, no. I, I gave Chrissy like months of no and frustration of no. Um, but now I'm hitting that wall with my, like I have a lot of coaches under me, but now to get the diamond, to get people to actually work, that's, that's where I'm struggling is to see, like to, to find, I guess, me in another person mm -hmm. is hard because I'm so outgoing and I'm so outspoken and I usually, well, and, and Christy's coaches are all me. Like Shannon's my best friend and she's one of the coaches. But yet for me to find somebody like that, I don't know why it's so difficult. I don't it's know. because you're me. You attract I, your tribe. <laughs> I know, but why can't I find those coaches that will work? I mean, it's been two years. You will. It takes time. You will. So, but that's I mean, what I think. Um... All right. I think, was that everyone who wanted to share? Because we do have a couple of points on our little list that we had compiled ahead of time that we wanted to, to cover that weren't brought up. Um, so are we missing anyone? I did anyone hop on late? Well, there's Val. Val, do you want to, do you want to chat? Share like, um, why did you decide to go for Emerald and what it did for your business and your confidence or whatever in any aspect? Yeah, so initially, um, I started out as a discount coach, so I only wanted to get the Shakeology discount, and I actually used to think that a discount coach was someone that signed up three people a month and got Shakeology for free, and that was the discount. So, <laughs> that's funny. Dumb. Um, so, I was like, yeah, I'll help three people and get Shakeology for free. That sounds amazing. Um, but... I think part of my hang up initially, um, cause it took me three months of coaching to hit Emerald really. Um, a large part of that was because I saw it as like this big, scary, like rank advancement and it was really not like, it's just helping two people not to like discount it at all. Cause it's very important and like an awesome achievement, but I saw it as this big, scary thing that it was like so far off in my future and only for like coaches that really want to go full time. And, um, then I started thinking about like, Brittany really helped me with my goal setting and like, why am I doing this? And um, a big reason for me is like, I have a lot of student loan debt and I want to get rid of that because it triggers a lot of fears and like insecurity and like financial instability in me. Um, so Brittany was telling me like, well, it's only going to help you to start building a team because that's where most of your income comes from. Um, when you start having a bigger team, you'll start making more money. You get team cycle bonuses and you can't qualify for that unless you're Emerald. And once she said that, that like turned on a flip, uh, flipped a switch in me and my um, two people that actually helped me got to Emerald were my boyfriend and my dad. So it wasn't even like I was inviting a whole time. Like I still didn't feel confident enough in the coaching opportunity to be inviting coaches, um, which is super silly of me. Like looking back on that, but I mean, I would definitely reach out to people that like if you're still needing to hit Emerald, reach out to people that truly care about you and like truly care about your goals and tell them what this means to you. And I promise you, like they will probably be supportive, especially if you tell them like if you don't like what you get in your think someone is on um, if you don't like the challenge back if you don't like psychology you can just return it and I've gotten so many people through telling them about the 30-day guarantee so that's my tip and it's definitely helped me um 
take my business more seriously because I do have a full-time job in corporate America. So I used to like not take it seriously and think like, oh, that's just a fun little hobby. But now I'm seeing like the success and the value it brings to people's lives. And Summit was a huge turning point for me. Um, so yeah, it just helps you like take it more seriously and actually like reach whatever goal you have a lot sooner. All right, awesome. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Sorry that I was like scanning through. I'm like, oh, Val's here, hold on. <laughs> um, so we are, first of all, I wanna say thank you for everyone for sharing. I know this is the first time some of you have spoke on a team call and that's really awesome. You're stepping outside of your comfort zone and doing something that's scary. Um, we do have a couple points that we want to run through really quickly. So um, you guys, I mean, we have a little, we have that little chat. So if you guys want to start the ones that you said you would take, do you want to just go with those and we'll just keep running through them until we finish them all? We just wanted to make sure that um, we cover everything because there's a couple things that, that wasn't talked about that's important. So uh, Nat, do you want to go start and we'll just use that chat to kind of communicate what we need to? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Uh, so uh, most of you probably already know when I first hit Emerald, I signed up with my, or my mom signed up as a coach and my sister, uh, my mom returned her shakes and my sister drank them for a little bit, but she doesn't have a coach account at all anymore. Um, but something that I realized once I hit Diamond and then now that I've also signed up Norm, who I'm building him to Diamond next, he's an Emerald coach. Something that I realized was that like, you don't have to technically find working coaches in order to get a coach on your right or left leg. So I've had a lot of customers that like are really active in challenge groups and really love shakes. And for them, they're paying, you know, $130 a month plus $15 shipping when they can be paying 99 a month with $2 shipping. Um, and it's like the $15 a month, month coach fee, which essentially just takes their cost from 145 to 115. Um, so anyone that I see is consistently ordering shakes like for more than one month, I offer up the discount coach opportunity to them. And the reality is if they don't want to pay the coach fee anymore, they can cancel it at any time. Um, but that's what's helped me also build norm um, close to diamond is because I have all of these, these challengers who are loving shakes and like even the girls on like my team, we can see those people that are bringing in like the volume for those shakes every month. Those are people that you want to go to and say, Hey, like, I know that you're loving these shakes. How would you guys, how would you like to get a discount on those? They don't really even need to know about the business side of it and you don't have to overthink it. Um, they may eventually want to know about it because when they sign up, they get like an email from Beachbody. Um, but it's really easy just to switch someone over from your customer to your coach. And if they bought a challenge pack with you, they don't even have to pay the $40 fee. They get that refunded anyways. Um, so that's something that is really easy to do and really smart to do. They're going to hold a place on your right or left leg as an active coach for a long time if they like these shakes. And when you are pushing after Emerald to get to Diamond, you have to have some active coaches. So those people are always good to count on to kind of keep you towards your goals. And on top of with um, signing up the spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend, whatever it may be, um, it's cool to do that as well because you're also collecting volume for your own personal business from your significant others or mom or whoever signing up for you. Um, so it's really cool because like I'm building Norm now my right leg and he's accumulating so much volume where like he's going to start cycling more than I'm cycling because he's getting so many value points just from being on my right leg. So it's cool to be able to benefit from that as well. Um, and try different products if you want to. Like I get the performance line through Norm because I'm drinking it anyways. So it would make more sense for me to get volume, get the discount and also keep him as an active coach. Um, so those, those are just a couple of things um, for tips for you guys. If you have active challengers that you think may want a discount, you don't need to even bring up the opportunity at all. You can eventually, um, but simply just saying, do you guys want your shakes discounted is all you really need to do. Thanks, Nat. You're welcome. Do you want me to go? I know I was next in that chat. You're muted, Carolyn, if you're trying to talk. Oh, no, I just said, yeah, it's you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> OK, uh, yeah, just to piggyback off that and address a couple other points. Really like Natalie was saying, I just wanted to harp on that. Um, 
You do not have to sign your coaches. You don't have to sign working coaches. I know that's like a thing that people get confused. And if you're following the script, I know I provide a script to my girls. Carolyn has scripts that you guys can follow. You'll probably see, or you should have seen if you're looking at that. The last thing you can ask somebody before they sign up as a customer, which is what I always do, whether they are wanting to work the business, whether they're just wanting to be a challenger, it doesn't matter. I would say sign everybody up at first as a coach. And the way I have it worded in my script is just, okay, I just need to know if you want to sign up as a regular customer or a VIP customer. I don't even use the word coach with people that I know don't want to work the business. All I say is, do you want to sign up as a VIP customer? And I explain it to them like it is Amazon Prime. I say it's the same thing as Amazon Prime. There's a monthly fee, which gives you a status, um, like a special status basically, which makes your shipping free and gets you a 25% discount, which is better than you get on Amazon Prime. You don't get anything like that. That's how I explain it. So it's a very low key thing. You're not putting pressure on them. You're not even, I don't even say the word coach if I know they're not interested in the business. I just say you might as well get the discount. It's the exact same price initially. Um, and I have done that for the last three years. And definitely when I was building to Emerald and Diamond, that's what I did. Um, my first two coaches were not working coaches. I think my first like four or five were not. They were like my mom, my cousin. I don't even remember friends. Um, so yeah, just to further harp on that point, they do not need to be working coaches. And another thing to keep in mind is when everybody is a new coach, your first goal, well, your goal every month as a coach is always to hit success club. So I always think of it your first month, you kind of have a two birds with one stone goal because you're wanting to hit success club and you're wanting to get to Emerald right away. And those things take care of each other because if you've signed two coaches, you're going to have already success club four on the board. So you're already almost at success club. So that's the way I explain it. I say it's two birds with one stone. You help two people, you rank advance right away to Emerald, which is an amazing feeling like we've been talking about. It's such a confidence boost. And then you're already at success club four and you just have to help one more person. And that third person might as well also be a coach for the reasons I just said, because they can get the discount as well. So that's a really awesome place to be. I like to have my coaches do that. You know, you, you guys can all, go do this like tonight, tomorrow. Um, and that's a really good place to be at the first month of your business. Or if you've been around for a few months, it doesn't matter. It's, it's a good feeling to accomplish both those goals at once. You're going to be Emerald. You're going to have success club points on the board with it being the last day of the month. I mean, if you haven't hit it, is today the last day? No, there's still tomorrow. So you could still go out, hit Emerald, hit success club tomorrow. Or if you're already good for this month, then you can do it on the first of the month and hit success club day one of August. Um, but it is a two birds with one stone type of goal. So just keep that in mind. It's so easy peasy. And yeah, just go do it. I think that's all I had. I don't think there's any other points I needed to touch on with that. But just yeah, that was it. Um, okay. I like the VIP customer. Courtney just said that too. And um, mm -hmm. the two birds with one stone, like seriously, you can knock out two goals at once. You might as well freaking go for it, right? Yeah. Why not? And like, if those coaches that you're signing up to start to get you to Emerald, you know, like once you get there, you add two more and you keep adding two more. So, you know, like, I don't know if Natalie shared this on this call, but I've heard her say it before, like her mom and her sister signed up and they both like returned and canceled, but she had replaced them before that had happened. So she kind of put them there as fillers. And then she's got two more coaches to, to build her back to Emerald uh, before they had disappeared. So, I mean, they may not be your permanent coaches. My first two coaches that got me to Emerald aren't coaches anymore. I mean, four years later. Um, but just, it doesn't matter really who they are. You just got, it's one of those things. You just do it. You just get there. It's like a prereq before you can get to the, the big girl classes and like all the stuff that you're here to do. Like when you go to college, you have to take the prerequisite classes that have nothing to do with what you want to do. You got to do that before you get to, to do what you actually are here to do. Um, so whether you're here to build a big business or you're here to make a little bit of extra money on the side, getting the Emerald is going to help you. Um, so yeah, those are really great points. Um, just checking the chat again. Thank you, Emmy. Uh, Lauren's next, I think Lauren and Christy, and then I'll close it up with the, uh, the last point. Yeah. Um, so parts of this were touched on already, but, um, yeah, like you don't need to sign up working coaches. I said this in the chat um, a little while ago, but my very first coach who signed up 
literally three years ago is still a coach and she's almost never actively coached. Um, she's been a discount coach for three years. She's like still is like actively participating in all of my challenge groups. She's helped a couple people along the way. And like, there's been a couple times along the way when she was like, lost her job and like went into coaching for a second just to like float herself to the next job. And like, you know, but other than that, like she's mainly just been here for the discount and for the extra accountability. Um, and that's something that I think uh, is another thing we can really like focus on not only like trying to get working coaches, but if you are offering that discount, you are offering this whole community along with that and the extra accountability that comes along with being part of a team. Even if your coaches don't want to work, you can still put them in the team page. You can still tell them that they have those resources available to them and that they, if they have any questions or if they're looking for a new program, like they can ask in the team page, like, Hey, what do you guys recommend? This is what I like. This is what I want to do. Like mm -hmm. they have, the entire community at their disposal as well. So, you know, the discount is amazing. And then having the community is just like an added bonus to that. So they don't have to want to work. And just because they're like not working coaches doesn't necessarily mean like sometimes they'll be like, you know, kind of like a filler coach, but it doesn't necessarily mean they will. Um, I have a lot of discount coaches on my team who have been with me for well over two years and still are in every single challenge group I run and still are like pushing for their personal goals and their fitness goals and like really actively part of my challenge group community and having them be there, like their energy feeds into my challenge group so much. And then my challenge groups are like more explosive. And so you're like, you're really like, by signing them up as a coach, you're really like committing yourself to them as well, which I think is, something that a lot of people really need because I know someone touched on this, but like the community and the accountability is why people come to us versus just like trying to do this by themselves. So everything else I think around that was already touched on. Yeah, it's so true. The accountability is huge. Like there's so many people that, I mean, myself included, if I didn't join as a coach, I probably would have gained so much weight over like, I would have fallen off. I would have stopped drinking Shakeology. Like having them, them yeah. in as coaches keeps them like more accountable to their own goals too. It's a very good point. And I think, thank you, Lauren. I think that Christy's next and then I will close it up. Your makeup looks awesome. <laughs> Your eye makeup. Oh, I was like, Thanks. you all oh, have <laughs> Okay, so I we already talked about signing up your spouse or someone, but it's just like a no-brainer. It really isn't. So when I became a coach, I hit Emerald in my first month, and the girl that signed up with me is no longer a coach. So don't get fret, like don't get worried or freak out when someone cancels because it happens. But the day that she signed up, I immediately asked my husband for a social security number. Like he didn't even know why I wanted it for. Like you don't have a choice you're doing this. And it's really important because he's the very first coach on that leg. So now I'm currently building not only his account, but his inside week leg with my coaches. Like that's really confusing. That's not what this is about, but because he's at the top of my leg where he's on my right leg, he benefits from all of the volume, no matter who it comes from on that leg. So he's cycling team cycle bonus every single week. And he does nothing like we don't, he doesn't work his business, but not only does it get you to Emerald by signing up a spouse where you can order your products through their account so you benefit from the volume, so you cycle. I cycle off of our pre and post workout and our beach bars just because we order them through Brandon's account. Mm -hmm. So I'm making money off of me spending money. <laughs> um, but long term, it's also I control his account, I control how I can build it, and he's cycling and we're making money off of him doing absolutely nothing. So short term, yes, you're signing someone up, but you're also making money back. So I think we mentioned this. I don't know if anybody did. Um, mm -hmm. If you sign him up or your, or your sister or your mom or whoever it is with a $140 challenge pack, you're going to make like a $50 bonus or a $50 commission. So you're technically only spending 90 bucks to sign up your spouse. And in the long run, it's getting you to Emerald. You're going to start cycling and then he'll start or she, whoever it is, We'll start cycling and it's just it's a domino effect and it, over time it accumulates to more than you can think of mm -hmm. 
two paychecks a week is not a bad thing. No. <laughs> Very true. And I like how you said that you, you, when you have other products that you're buying, you know, like beach bars and energize and recover, you order it in his account because you're going to, you're getting the volume back. So you're, you're literally earning money off of your own personal sales and you know, it's keeping him active as well too. So definitely smart move. If you have significant others, moms, brothers, sisters, cousins, like anyone in your family, get them signed up. And if you haven't yet, I don't know what you're waiting on. <laughs> Can I share one quick note on that? Yeah, go ahead. This is probably maybe awkward to bring up because this is no longer the situation because I'm not, um, I don't have a significant other currently, but with an ex of mine, I did sign him up at a point and just, I mean, I never really talk about this, but it doesn't do any good to keep this to myself because I know this could be life changing for you guys too. I signed him up. I think it was like in a, it was like January or something. And, um, by, I don't know, June or so, like we were, he was paying rent from what his account was making every month. So like, I'm not talking like $50 here and there, like you can make a significant amount of income. Um, and that really got us through like a really tight spot. And if we hadn't had that beach body money, like straight up, we would have been screwed because we were living in a very expensive city and his job like got weird and stuff fell through with that. And we were relying completely on just what his account was making. And of course he didn't do any of that. It was me just placing coaches under his account, um, which also helped me get to two star. So just like that little testimony and, um, that's not what I'm doing with my business anymore, but I'm super grateful that I had that when we had it. And it wasn't like it took years and years to get him to that point. I just built his account really fast and it literally paid our bills. So I just wanted to throw that out there because I think you guys should know that it can really mm -hmm. be that significant. Yeah, definitely. I mean, James makes two fifty a week at the, mo at the le at the very least and doesn't do anything. I mean, he does, but not really. Um, so I just wanted to close it up super quick. Thanks for all of those awesome points. Um, one last thing I wanted to share, and this is something that I know motivated a couple of my girls to hit Emerald like yesterday, like super quick is all of this stuff that we're talking about team cycle bonus, talking about volume, all this income stuff might not make any sense to you right now. And that's okay. But what might make a little bit more sense to you is right now, if you are a coach, and I'm going to try to explain this as simply as I can, you have two legs, you have a left leg and you have a right leg. And every week you're going to see, if you go in your coach online office and you look at your volume, you're going to see a number there. One number is going to be higher than the other. It just depends on which leg of your coach that you were placed. So what happens is Wednesday night at 11:59 PM, if your account is not emerald, all of that money or volume goes bye-bye. It's like, you're not emerald. I don't want to hang out with you. Bye. Peace out. And you're literally just saying, bye money. I don't want you. <laughs> Go away. So when you're an emerald, you have a piggy bank essentially. So as an emerald, every week the volume comes in and it gets deposited. Every week the volume comes in and it gets deposited and you start to build and you start to collect your volume. You don't, it doesn't disappear and you collect it unless you go inactive. So don't go inactive. Um, but you have your, your volume there and that volume turns into money. So every week based off of whatever you have in there, you're going to get a team cycle bonus. And that's where that comes from. So if you're not collecting any volume, then you're not getting a team cycle bonus. And if you're not an Emerald, let's say you, you signed up like a year ago and you haven't been Emerald yet, you missed out on a year's worth of volume. Like seriously, that's a lot of freaking money. My mom, she's got at least $16,000 in cash sitting underneath of her just by being there and being an Emerald coach. And she, that's just like what she's collecting. Like I can literally see it every single day. I'm like, mom, build your business. Seriously. But as a coach, you don't save any of that. It goes away. So if you, you want to get to Emerald, you want to start collecting volume that is eventually going to turn into income for you that could pay for your shakes. So you don't have to pay for those. You know, it could pay for your gas for your car. It could pay for groceries. It could literally, you could start a piggy bank and start saving for a family vacation based just, just with your team cycle bonus. Um, 
I have a question, how long does it take to become inactive? Well, it, it's not a matter of time. It's just if you don't have an order, uh, if you don't have at least 50 PV in your account, you go inactive. So whether that's a personal order or an order that somebody has placed um, as a customer with you, that's how you stay active. But if you want to qualify for a success club and you want to qualify for Emerald leads and all of that, you have to have 90 PV HD. So just keep drinking your shakes or your uh, energize and recover or your beach bars, just to keep chomping on those and you'll be fine. Um, but it does have to be 90 HD to, to stay active. But the point is by not being an Emerald, you're losing out on all of this volume that you could be saving and saving for a rainy day and collecting. Um, so I just wanted to let you guys know that the quicker you hit Emerald, the quicker you start, that money starts going in your piggy bank and you get to save it and hold on to it. Um, and then just to close this out, this call is about going Emerald, right? So I want to know how many of you are going to set that goal to be an Emerald coach by the end of this week. If you're not Emerald, like you know how to do it now. If you have one person, you find one more. If you have none, you go find two. You know, it's not difficult. You've seen all these other coaches on our team who have done it. You've heard how they've done it. All of them have done it in different ways. There's no right or wrong way to do it. There's no one size fits all way. But there is the, the difference between, or the one thing that all these people have in common is they set a goal and they did whatever they had to do to get there. And not everyone's journey there looks the same, but they did what they had to do to get there. And once you get there, I know this is an emerald call, but I do want to kind of, um, kind of get you looking out into the future as well. Once you hit emerald, you can you can hit any rank in this business because once you hit emerald, all you have to do is hit emerald again and hit emerald again and hit emerald again and hit emerald again and boom, you're a diamond coach. It's literally that simple, and we overcomplicate this business more than we have to. So. Just first work on getting your two people and just tell yourself every day, I'm going to get to Emerald again and again and again and again. Just keep doing that over and over. And before you know it, you'll be a diamond coach. And if you just teach your coaches to do that too and teach them, get, get to Emerald, hit success club and tell them to teach their coaches, get to Emerald, hit success club, keep hitting Emerald over and over and over again. This team's going to explode. Like, and it's going to be a good explosion. Everyone's businesses are going to be booming. Everyone's going to be seeing success. And like I said, even if you're not here to build a giant business, which that's totally okay. Not everyone is here to do that. And I respect that. Even if you're not here for that, the least you can do is get to Emerald and start collecting your volume because you never know. You might decide down the road you want to give this a go and you've already got a bank full of cash waiting for you to cash out on it. So it doesn't hurt to get to Emerald. Like my mom got to Emerald. And then that was it. And that's why she's collecting. She's got 16 grand chilling underneath her. And the day she decides to start working it, she gets to have that. So, and it's because she hasn't gone inactive either. So get to Emerald and don't ever go inactive. And you will have, um, you'll be, you'll have volume that you can use whenever you decide you want to work it. Or if you never do, that's fine too. But getting to Emerald, you'll at least be making at least $14 in team cycle, like a couple times a month. And that's money you can put towards your shakes too. So there's a lot of benefits to it, whether you want to go big or you want to just, just get to Emerald for, you know, to make a little bit of extra money. There's no right or wrong way. We just wanted to let you guys know that this is not a hard thing to do. Everyone who's talked on this call has done it and there's no reason why you can't do it. You just have to believe in yourself and you have to set that goal and set your intentions and just go for it. All right. So do we all feel confident now? Yeah. All right. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to see all these Emerald recognition posts we're going to be having in the next week. Yeah. Better get my Canva going. <laughs> Does anyone have anything else they wanted to add? I know we went a little longer than um, expected, but this was a great call. So any questions? Oh, and, oh, Brittany said her team cycle bonus volume is paying for her wedding. So that's freaking awesome. See, $14 can add up very fast. Actually, 18 when you get to diamond. There's another incentive. All right. All right. 
I guess that's it. Thank you guys for hopping on the call. Uh, we appreciate you coming out here. We love you and we cannot wait to celebrate all the emeralds. Yay. <laughs> all right, guys, good night. Go hit Success Club if you didn't yet. You got two days or a day and a half. <laughs> Bye.